Allahu And I want to dedicate this poem to those people who embraced Islam. And I hope that in this poem, you can hear your own voice and some of the struggles that you've gone through. The title of the poem is, I'm not a convict, I'm a convert. I'm not a convict, I'm a convert, freed from the shackles of ignorance, now imprisoned in the dungeons of neglect. I'm the black, I'm the white, but mostly everything between. I'm the one who's in the masjid causing a scene. I'm the voice that cries out, waiting to be heard, outshined by the lies that the elders overheard. I am the outcast, the outsider, the disbeliever prior, the one you embraced when I declared my faith, but now accuse of being a liar. I am an elephant in the prayer room that you prefer to leave alone. I'm the questionable Muslim because I wasn't foreign born, an object of scorn between two worlds I'm torn a stepchild, and you're the parent that prefers to ignore. Constantly scrutinized, I'm not from here or from there, not liberal enough for society because I cover my hair. Have you ever felt offended? Then welcome to my life. I've been fighting back tears enough and tired of swallowing my pride. Either you treat me as an equal or please step aside. Allah says I have better things to do and greater things for which to strive. I'm not a convict, I'm a convert. So why do I get treated like a suspect? If Allah chose me, then what gives you the right to reject? Sorry that this may not sound to you so politically correct. However, this is something that needs to be said. You have sentenced me without a cause or a trial. I have proven my faith in front of God. So why are you in denial? Islam is not a club and you're not the president or the client. Neither are you the judge nor the jury. So now it's time you remain silent. Anything you say or do will be used against you in the court of Allah. That same nose you tip up may be what eventually makes you fall. You question everything about me, from my background to my habits. And just how is my conversion story related to my marital status? Instead of 70 excuses, for me you have 70 abuses. Like a drowning person who asks for aid and you're the lifeguard who refuses. I wonder if you really consider me a sister or a brother even a distant cousin. Sometimes I think you wish I wasn't even a Muslim. You treat others better, some that may not even deserve. But when you see me on the sidewalk, you step over to the curb. Honestly, that attitude is completely absurd. Let me remind you of the people that the Prophet Muhammad used to serve, the likes of Abu Bakr, Omar, Ali, and Uthman. All of them were non-Muslims who embraced Islam. Did you ever consider that before beginning a character attack? Or that for you to be here, someone in your own family had to embrace Islam way back? Have you heard about Salman al-Farsi who left behind a lifestyle of royalty and wealth? He was declared from Ahlul Bayt by the Prophet Muhammad himself. Because he recognized the value of that courageous youth who gave up everything in his sincere search for the truth but now you think you're better because you were raised in the deen when you haven't walked in my shoes or seen what I've seen? Did you have to go against everything your family stood for? Plead to your mother and father that they embrace Islam only to be ignored? Have you ever spent Eid alone while your loved ones celebrate Christmas? Has someone undermined your knowledge or questioned your commitment? Or lose a family member before they uttered the declaration of faith knowing that they sealed their fate and you will never again see their face. Those are our realities and the battles we tackle each day. So don't forget that before you point your finger this way. The prophet was reprimanded for turning a blind man away, but how about you who's holding in your heart borderline hate? Thinking yourself righteous, but you don't respond to salam when only Allah knows who will die upon Islam. I'm not a convict, I'm a convert, so stop questioning my past. You have no right to bring up what Allah has not asked. Just because I'm fr not from your people doesn't make me evil. We read the same book and it says we're all created equal. Check your intentions and know that your words can turn believers away. Stop labeling your criticism as advice and your insults as praise. If I'm a convict, then know that this, the prison is this world and you are my cellmate. 
recognize that I'm on your side and our eternal life is at stake. We even have common enemies wishing both of us die while you believe stereotypes and continue to stigmatize. We are both in the struggle faced by every single man. Instead of putting others down, why don't you stretch out your hand? Let's help each other up and maybe we just might stand a chance. I'm a convert and I just want to practice Islam. Jazakumullahu khairan.